just uh, in the same building. But in the past, uh, the presence was very, very important. And so there are events that uh, we will tell you about the Jewish. Mm -hmm. So there is uh, a possible Jewish tour. But we have uh, just uh, to try to show you much in uh, a short time. So now we will walk up to the, to the cathedral. And it was uh, uh, organized, made, by Pope uh, for Rafa, who ordered them the Jews to be closed in this area. In this area. So it's between these two roads, from here to that one, um, the Asa de la This was the ancient region. They were very good merchants, so they lived on the port activities, exchanging, uh, buying and selling, and this made the fortune of the town. The town has always lived on commerce, commerce by sea. Okay? okay. We can go on. Hmm? Uh, I saw a ferry when we were coming here. Hmm? We are talking about uh, 1555, 1555. He did not agree, so he obliged those people to convert. Hmm? You know this story because of conversos, and uh, you, you know the story. After Queen Regina Isabella, they wanted them to be all Christians. And the ones who were not Christians were persecuted or obliged to be Christians. And they, there, there is also a museum to visit which tells the story, but we have lots of things. Anyway, they uh, were obliged, uh, they were called the Marranos, you know, Marrano. Marrano were the converted one. You know the term? Marrano. Marrano means, you, you know the term, is a former Christian who has converted. In the, in the time, Marrano has become a bad word, like an insult, because it means, it means folk. So, because the Jewish religion was uh, forbade, uh, eating pork, they obliged these people to eat pork just to demonstrate that they were now Christians, so they could eat pigs and so on. So it was a terrible period, and all the Jewish in Ancona, coming from Portugal, especially from Spain, were obliged to convert themselves and were persecuted. A lot of them were persecuted, so they had to pay for their freedom, to rescue their liberty. But uh, they were about uh, 120 persecuted, some escaped, some were lucky enough, but the 23 couldn't escape, they couldn't pay, they, even if they offered money, they were not, uh, had not the possibility to save themselves. So they were killed. They were killed in a horrible way, that is, first they were, um, Hanged, and then they were burned. They were 23 men and one woman, and it was this event happened in a square that now we are going to to visit. It was an open square for <coughs> beasts, animals, uh, and the name was Campo della Mostra. Campo is a square, like a field della Mostra, where animals use it to be shown. 
So in that place you will see, um, how do you say, a stone where uh, our politi one of our important politicians wrote uh, a memory of um, 500 after 1492, which was the moment of the uh, sending away Christians, um, uh, sorry, Jewish, Jewish from Spain. So there is a celebration. Before going there, we go to the square and visit the church of San Domenico because inside there is an important picture by Piombino. It is a virgin, just at the beginning. So if you are interested, then we cut through and I show you the square. And after the square, we will go to this ancient area, which was a military area, called where we will, you will see the ancient Jewish cemetery, which has been um, transformed the sort of a museum hmm? because uh, yes for the members and it is one of the un most ancient and most big of Europe second after Rome it is the second one so it is very important so we can mm -hmm. move and go up up to the church so the anti-semitism started in those uh, yes. times and it continued yes. until the second yes. world war yes 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 yes, yes. It be, began about, uh, yes, uh, 1492, when the Queen Elizabeth Isabel arrived, because before, before, um, they lived together in complete... Uh, there wasn't any problem before, no, between no, the no, Christians no. and the Jewish no, people. No, no, So it started Spain, with, the, with the Catholic Church, basically. In Spain, especially in Spain, Muslim, Jewish and Christian lived in harmony together. Yeah. I wonder where we are. From the beginning of the human presence in the area, nobody built houses here. Ah. Here, just we found um, barracks, uh, convents, lunatic asylum, whatever. So not well, no urbanization true. because it went down. The cost we mm -hmm. will see that the cost was just uh, very un. Unstable, so, so yeah. going down. For this reason, the Jewish cemetery was here because they didn't care. So the only mm -hmm. land that the Jewish could have was the, this land which was not safe at all. So during the centuries, no houses have been built here. In recent times, this area was military. For this reason, it was closed to the public, nobody could get into, and for this reason it has been preserved. One of the strange uh, things that they have put here is this little cemetery. This is not the Jewish, this is the English. But mm -hmm. when they say English, they mean foreigners. So mm -hmm. whoever was not Christian, was not Italian, and died in this area, was put here. Mm -hmm. Now you can't see anything at all, just, uh, you know, uh, because they were the taxi and the Christian, as well. But in the past, there were some Christian people were not to be. They have canoes, but they are Christian. This is not Christian. In a very far away place. Not in contact with the other, were given to foreigners. Not, not but where is the Jewish not cemetery? Not. Where we is the Jewish? Going. We are going. Ah, it's in here. recent years. That new building there has been uh, uh, used to make this uh, museum of uh, Jewish cemetery because uh -huh. the Jewish don't want anybody to touch tombs because it yes. is uh, forbidden. But yes. Some of them have collapsed into water. Really? Or ah, because of the erosion. So the one who were, which moved by themselves could be taken. And yeah. um, they made a sort of a catalog of them for the shape, ah. for everything. And there is a little museum, museum there, they put the Jewish museum, with an interesting place, um, multimedia uh, facility and whatever. Do you know that this shape of the thumbs is just to remind one person? Normally, in the past, they had a, a head, the, the head had the shape of the um, hat, because every different job had a different hat. 
So from the hat, you could understand the job of the dead. Okay. So these are symbols of ah, a man that's which, why... who is under, who is buried there. In, in, during the years of Colonna, course, they became old. Uh -huh. okay. But in the past, if you go to Turkey, they, in ancient cemetery, they, you still see the notary, you still see the fishermen, the poor, the rich, depending on the head, what do they have on the head. So this is just a memory of it. Uh, you can't see all of them, you see just a little thing, because uh, I don't know why, but this uh, grass has not been cut. But there are 1,000 and more. Hmm? And Great. it is the yeah. biggest and most ancient. The documents say it started in 1428. As I told you, the first presence of Jewish was 1348 for the plague. They were um, just pushed out from Germany because of the plague. They were charged of being uh, responsible because, you know, they didn't uh, uh, get plague. Why? Because they washed their hands so much for religious prescription. They normally washed a lot, so they wa washed their hands. So there was uh, no, this uh, disease was uh, not, infect infection was it not was uh, widespread. So, because they didn't die, it was simple to say, if you don't die, you are the author. You are spreading, you are killing us Christians. And so they were condemned, they were put um, in jail and uh, executed. So they had to escape, to flee far away from Germany. So we have three different origins of Jewish population. From Germany, Ashkenaziti, from the north. From Portugal, and Spain, and the name is Sephardite, because Sephar is the, the word for Jewish. And then we have the one from the east, Levantini, from Levante. Levante means the, the east, where the sun goes. So three different, three different, two of them mixed together, and another one was apart, so we have two different synagogues. And the synagogue, one of them is very beautiful, with original decoration of 1500. So crit art critics came to visit them and they were really, spl they are really splendid. And you know, they have the colors of uh, the Mediterranean from Spain. So the yellow, yellow of the sun, the blue, blue of the sea, and also their way, their psalms, you know, the Jewish like to pray in a certain way, like if they would uh, sing. And even the psalms have a, a sound which reminds the movement of the waves. So they are called barcarole. Barca is a ship, is a boat. Barca. So barcarole because the rhythm of the psalm is like a wave which goes and comes back. So this is part of our culture, of our traditional music. So this is to underline how much the Jewish culture uh, is mixed with uh, our Christian culture. And Christian women and Jewish women were friends. So they exchanged the recipes. What you had yesterday is a typical Jewish recipe. And many others, there are many, many others which are from Jewish origin and that we use and they are common here. So we can go on and see some, something else. Yes.